A very warm greetings to all the viewers. I'm Dr. Dhruvil Brambhat, working as an assistant professor in Department of Microbiology in LG Institute of Applied Sciences, situated in Ahmedabad. Today, in this video tutorial, we will discuss on spontaneous mutation. This topic is also covered in Unit 3 of paper MI301 of Semester 5, according to Gujarat University syllabus. The term mutation comes from a Latin word mutate, which means to change. So what is mutation? Mutations were initially characterized as altered phenotype, but are now understood at a molecular level. Mutation is a natural process that changes a DNA sequence either by a single base substitution or by addition or deletion of single or few base pairs. Mutations create lightly different versions of same genes called alleles. The small variation in DNA sequences make every individual unique with the variation in human hair color, skin color, height, shape, behavior, and susceptibility to diseases. Mutation generates new variation which can be an advantage to an individual that can be passed on to the next generation. Mostly, mutation is reversed and cell contains a repair mechanism for mutation which repairs the changes in DNA like mismatch nucleotide or broken DNA strands. If these changes accumulate and cell repair mechanism is not able to fix them, then the cell may stop dividing, destructs or become cancerous. Mutations results due to replacement substitution of nucleotide or insertion deletion or of one or few nucleotides this is known as point mutation the major causes of point mutation are errors in dna replication and mutagens what are mutagens mutagens chemicals and radiations which affect the DNA structure. Small changes in DNA are called micro lesions or point mutations and larger changes are called macro lesions which are less common. These include large insertions, deletions, inversions, duplications and translocations of nucleotide sequences. Mutations can be characterized as spontaneous mutations and induced mutations. In this video lecture, we will discuss about spontaneous mutations. The learning objectives of this session should be understanding the spontaneous mutation, types of mutation, and the mechanism. The spontaneous mutation arise occasionally, which generally occur in absence of any added antigen or agent. Most mutations that were previously studied occurred spontaneously, hence referred as spontaneous mutation. Historically, scientists recognized these in nature. They are the ultimate source of natural genetic variation that is seen in populations. Frequency of spontaneous mutation is very low. So, if various numbers of mutants are required, then mutations must be induced by using mutagens. The spontaneous mutation rate varies. Large gene provides large target and tends to mutate more frequently. Data from several studies from eukaryotic organisms show that in general, the spontaneous mutation rate is 2 raised to 12 power into 10 raised to 6 power per gamete per gene. DNA sequence analysis has revealed that these mutations are responsible for number of human hereditary diseases. Spontaneous mutation results from a variety of sources including errors in DNA replication, spontaneous lesions and transitable genetic elements. Replication errors can occur when a nitrogenous base of a template nucleotide takes on a rare automeric form. 
Tautomerism is the relationship between two structural isomers that are in chemical equilibrium with each other and that readily changes into one another. Bases generally exist in the keto form. However, they are at times can take amino or enol form which changes their hydrogen bond characteristics allowing the base substitutions which are stable. Replication errors and spontaneous lesions generate most of the base substitutions and frame shift mutations. Error in replication is also responsible for some deletions that occur in the absence of mutagenic treatment. An error in DNA replication can occur when an illegitimate nucleotide pair, say AC, forms in DNA synthesis leading to a base substitution. These replication errors or mismatch repair results in different types of mutations. Here we'll look on different types of mutations. A. Transition mutation in which purine substitutes for a purine or a pyrimidine will substitute for a pyrimidine. B. Transversion mutation. In this, a pyrimidine substitutes for a pyrimidine and vice versa. C. Frame shift mutations. In frame shift mutations, this type of mutation involves insertion or deletion of a base pair in a DNA sequence, which finally shifts the reading frame and alters the amino acid sequence that codes for a particular protein. B. Deletion and duplication. A deletion changes the number of ba DNA bases by removing a piece of DNA. Small deletions may remove one or few base pairs within a gene, while larger deletions can remove an entire gene or several neighboring genes. Duplication mutation involves a piece of DNA copied abnormally one or more times. These types of mutations can alter the function of resulting protein. Spontaneous lesion. Some mutations are generated due to naturally occurring damage to the DNA. This damage includes depurination, deamination, and oxidative damage. The two most frequent spontaneous lesion results from depurination and deamination. Depurination. It consists of disruption or breakage of glycosidic bond present between the base and the deoxyribose and release the base either adenine or guanine residues which results in apurinic site. This apurinic site leads to mutation by incorporating incorrect bases during replication. Loss of purine nucleotide bases leads to apurinic site and loss of pyrimidine nucleotide leads to apyrimidinic sites. This is also referred to as development of AP sites. Second, deamination. It involves the removal of amino group from the new molecule, which results in the base changes. For example, deamination of cytosine yields uracil. Unpaired uracil residues will pair with adenine in replication resulting in the conversion of a GC pair into a AT pair. A GC-AT transition which finally results into mutation during replication. Third, oxidative damage. Oxidative damage to bases represents a third type of spontaneous lesion implicated in mutagenesis. Active oxygen species such as superoxide radicals, hydrogen peroxide and hydroxyl radicals are produced as byproduct of normal aerobic metabolism. This may alter DNA bases and cause mutations. For example, guanine can be converted to 8 oxo 7 8 dihydro deoxyguanine which often pairs with adenine rather than cytosine during replication. Now let's summarize this topic. Spontaneous mutations are those which occur occasionally in all the cells in absence of any mutagen. These occur 
due to errors in replication and mutagens. The smaller changes are called micro lesions or point mutations and the larger changes are called macro lesions. I hope at the end of this video tutorial, the concept of mutation, spontaneous mutation, types of mutation and their mechanism must be clear. Thank you.